What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be doing object detection using TensorFlow Lite and we're going to be doing it on Android but of course you could do this on an iPhone or a Raspberry Pi or pretty much mobile devices. You can see I've been detected as a person right now but we'll be detecting other objects as well and I'll give you guys a look right now. And look at that, we can pretty much detect many different objects with different certainties. And yeah, this is going to be our tutorial for today. So let's get to it. Alright, so for this tutorial, you're going to need Android Studio. So go ahead and download and install that. And we're also going to need TensorFlow Lite examples. So you can go ahead to the GitHub page and you can just download the zip or you can just do a git clone followed by the URL that I'll leave on the description below. Now like I explained earlier we will be doing the Android example so let me go ahead and browse here to TensorFlow Lite examples object detection and here you can see they have three different options Android iOS and the Raspberry Pi and inside each one of these folders you'll find the directions for this specific example so the one you've seen in the beginning of this video is this one right here so where you to want to do this on an iPhone of course you'd have to follow the iOS version and so on for the Raspberry Pi so these are the exact instructions we're gonna be following now let's get to them all right, once you finish downloading the zip file or cloning the git, you want to go ahead and extract that to a specific location, whatever you like. And here we have it. These are all the files. You can see if I go to light, examples, and object detection, I have all the examples right there. Now let's go ahead and open the Android folder in Android Studio. All right, so before opening the project, you want to go to SDK Manager and you're going to want to install some of these. You can see I have version 6 all the way through 10 already installed. So make sure you install a few of these, at least 6 and above would be appropriate. And after you install those, might take a few minutes, you can hit OK and we are ready to open the Android example project. So you can just go open and then you have to find a specific location and there we go examples light object detection android and you just hit ok and that should open up your project all right now at this point you might as well want to connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable. Once you connect your Android device, you're gonna see that it pops up here on the top of Android Studio. As you open the project, you might see a few different tasks running here towards the bottom, synchronizing the gradles and different operations. And you will probably have to wait that out before you can actually run the application. Then once you finally get all the green check marks, that means you are good to go. And now you have two options. We can just go ahead and hit the play button here up top and that will run our project in your Android device. There you go. You can see we started the app and I have it now running here on my Android device. And you can see we've detected a cup, a bottle, a TV. We can now integrate this functionality into a different project of our liking, which is amazing to see how technology has evolved and we're able to do this from mobile devices at this point. Another option you have is you can actually build this little project into an APK. So you can install this app on your phone and run it whenever you'd like. So you can go build, build APK, and just like that, it's gonna build the APK for you. And then you can hit locate, 
and there we go you can just copy this and install it on your android device and you can then run this app so that's gonna be our short video for today guys a basic getting started video with tensorflow light and i'm excited to do some more fun stuff with this 